A very good day to the judges and those who are watching. Me, Aisha Sorfina, will starting off this presentation with a little bit of explanation about our project. First of all, our project is about preventing dengue in a green way using curry leaves. Dengue, a vector-borne disease, has become major concerns in Malaysia. This disease is transmitted by two types of mosquitoes which are Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. The average number of dengue cases in Malaysia in 2015 from 2014 increases by 35.47%. Worldwide, it is estimated about 55% of the world population is at risk of dengue and according to World Health Organization, organization WHO, over 100 million cases have been reported annually across the world. Until now, there is still no definite treatment yet to be found that can cure dengue. With this increasing trend of dengue, many efforts have been done to get rid of the vectors. One of the easiest and simplest way is to apply larvicide to their breeding places. However, excessive usage of larvicide like dichlorodifenitrichloroethane or in short DDT have caused pesticide resistance and harmful effect on non-target resistance. While on the other hand, organic products such as abate is globally used as larvicidal. Abate provides a lot of advantages in controlling mosquitoes. However, it cannot be relied on alone due to presence of resistance. The said abate resistant cases have been reported in Brazil. Curry leaves are also known as Moria quenigi and belong to the family of Rutaceae. India is where the curry leaves are cultivated and distributed. However, they are also found in some countries in the Asian region. Further information about Aedes aegypti is that they are mostly scattered in the tropical and subtropical region. According to Center for Disease Control and Prevention, adult Aedes aegypti are prone to water storage containers and damp areas. Thus, the trap device used to trap their eggs were based on this characteristic. A problem statement utilized in this experiment is how to prevent dengue using a greenway method. The first objective of this experiment is to screen the phytochemical content of curry leaves essential oil that contains larvicidal properties. Next, to significantly reduce the usage of chemical products and lastly, to encourage the usage of organic substances. Moving on, let me explain the methodology of this project. Firstly, is the sample preparation. 2 kg of fresh curry leaves were collected from a single tree and prepared for extraction. The oil extraction process was carried out using a steam distillator. All of the mosquito rearing were using the standard protocol lined by the vector unit of a hospital in Malaysia. Initially, the eggs were collected using OV position trap placed around 400 meter radius from the vector unit. OV traps were then collected after 3 days or up to a week left in the field. The eggs then were brought to a lab for rearing and was sorted. A total of 3rd install larvae were used for this experiment. The larvicidal activity of essential oil were assessed using the standard WHO method against Aedes aegypti. The larvae were placed in a holding cup for 1 hour for the larvae to acclimatize until the test was conducted. The essential oil curry leaves extract were tested on third instar larvae with different concentration ranging from 200 ppm, 100 ppm, 50 ppm, and 10 ppm. The curry leaves essential oil extract shows a potent larvicidal effect as there was an increase in percent mortality as the concentration increased from 10 ppm to 200 ppm, which are 5% to 100% mortality post 24 hour treatment and 21% and 100% post 48 hour treatment. After 24 hours, the curry leaves essential oil showed 100% mortality at 200 ppm concentration. However, after 48 hours, there was 100% mortality at 100% concentration. Negative control ethanol showed zero mortality, while the abate group showed 100% mortality post 24 hour treatment. From the experiment, the extract was able to cause death to the larvae, but it is a dose-dependent manner as higher concentration was needed to kill the larvae faster, which is within 24 hours. We can also conclude that essential oil curry leaves extract exhibited good larvicidal activity against Aedes aegypti. This project has also signified tremendous novelties and advantages as now a new material from curry leaves has been found as an alternative source for larvicidal. This is also an environmentally friendly and completely green product as no toxic chemicals are used. Thank you. Thank you.